You are listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxshaw, in which I chronicle my life and attempts to become a professional writer by, you know, doing some writing. Daily. Hopefully. And welcome to the podcast. It is, I don't even know what day it is, I'm that tired. It is Wednesday the 1st of May 2024. Um, I've had an interesting day today. Um, I was supposed to be flying to Berlin but the flight was cancelled. Um, so I was put on standby but they didn't need me. So that's all fine but I'm really tired. So rather than go home, which is what I would have had to do, but then have to leave again at four o'clock tomorrow morning, I've decided to have a night in a local hotel at the airport so I can get up much later tomorrow and be less tired for my flight. Um, So yes, that's what's happening here and that's why the uh, live stream that I was planning to do has changed times as well because it's meant to be in about two and a half hours time and uh, I'm so tired I ain't gonna last that long. So I thought I'd very quickly talk today about uh, titles for projects Um, because obviously getting a good name is really really important in selling a book. Now my first book, The English Ikikomori, which is the one that I'm in the process of going through and choosing some um, you know people to send some literary agents to send it off to, um, was originally called After the Event. The event being the early part of the book where uh, something appalling happens to the main character's family. Basically, he's the only survivor of a car crash which kills his mum, his dad and his sister. Um, And I thought it was quite a good title, but I'm not going to lie. One of the reasons I chose it was because I'm a huge Pet Pet Shop Boys fan. And if I can squeeze a Pet Shop Boys reference into anything, I will. And there is a B-side called After the Event, which is a really good track. And so I initially named it that. Um, And then whilst I was in the process of writing it, so it's about somebody who isolates themselves. I saw, uh, um, but I I thought of it in no wider context than that. Um, I read about the the idea of the hikikomori, which is uh, a Japanese thing where people isolate themselves, don't interact with people, stay in their rooms, their homes, whatever, and avoid people. Um, And I suddenly realised that's what Freddie was doing. So uh, I looked into the phenomenon a bit more and it actually shaped the story because um, when I started writing I literally hadn't heard of Hikikomori. So the whole thing shaped it and I ended up calling the book The English Hikikomori. Now one of the feedbacks I got from someone who read it was that, that just the name wouldn't interest him, he had no idea what it meant and he didn't think it was a very good title. So I was looking for other possible titles and what I eventually came up with was... Um, from a poem so um, it's just a sort of serendipity a load of things sort of happened at once that kind of linked into this but a friend of mine found a nice um, old leather hardback uh, Rabbi Burns um, book and I was glint- glancing through through the poems in there and one of the poems was called On a Suicide very cheerful um, and so I kind of started thinking about that well actually I didn't think not about suicide because the story is effectively about my main character um, working up to suicide uh, and I kind of thought about well the, the poem is and I'm going to quote it wrongly here um, uh, up there there lies an imp of hell planted by Sa- Satan's dibble poor we rich he's damned himself to save the lord the trouble and it's just a little four line poem um, about the, the, the grave of uh, uh, someone who killed themselves uh, written by Robbie Burns and I kind of was thinking along the lines of different markets and what would be a better title than the English Hikikomori and one of the ones I came up with which I quite like was To Save the Lord the Trouble um, which is the last line of that poem. Um, Paul Wierecz is uh, damned himself to save the Lord the trouble um, and I do like it as a title it's kind of gotten all creatures great and small only with suicide um, feel to it but I kind of decided that um, and, and it's interesting, the different people I spoke to about the title, I've, I've got, uh, where, where I work, you have a wide variety of people, and the flight I was on at the time whilst I was deliberating, we had a couple of crew whose family came from Africa, and they have a, like a religious background, a Christian background, and they really like the title to save the Lord the trouble. Um, but eventually I decided to go with the English Ikikomori, because that's what it's been in my head, and that's what it is, effectively. Um, the second book uh, I wrote... Uh, is, is actually well the second book I started is the one I'm working on now I'm really struggling with a title for it so it was originally called Empress of the Trees because it is about effectively Idrisil um, trying to put trying to make humanity sort sort out what they're doing to the planet um, 
but it, it kind of sounds a bit weird and doesn't really sell the book very well. And then uh, another another term I read for the for the way that trees literally talk to each other through these um, these uh, fungal um, uh, fungal strands called mycelium. Um, uh, it's been dubbed by some scientists the wood wide web. You know, it's not as fast as the internet. Trees don't literally talk to each other, but it is that kind of connection. And I thought wood wide web was quite a good title, but now again, I'm not so sure because it doesn't really say what the story's about. So that's kind of the story title for that book is Parked. Um, and then Still Life, uh, which is the one I've nearly finished, not quite, was originally called The Artist because it's about an artist. Um, and it wasn't until... Uh, the fact that I saw, I came up with the name Still Life, which, as well as being a pun on what happens to the characters, is a form of art. And I love it as a title. The only problem with it, so it may not be the final title, is there are a lot of other books out there called Still Life. I think Val McDermid recently released a book uh, called Still Life, so it's not an original title. Why I do like it is it ties in brilliantly with the later tracks, um... Sorry, the later tracks, it's not an album. The later stories, if I, if it becomes more than a single book, the later stories are going to be called things like Self Portrait and uh, Blank Canvas. So it ties in in that. But no, naming a story is very, very hard. And I've had a lot of trouble with it. Anyway, that was my brief natter for today. I'm talking to you from a little hotel at Heathrow because I should have been in Berlin, but I'm not. Um, but I shall be back at some point tomorrow, probably from this same hotel, actually, um, with a, another talk about something else writing related. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. You have been listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxall. Thank you for tuning in to my random ramblings. And if you'd like to know more about me or my projects, visit my link tree at linktr.ee dot e forward slash Richard Wright, capital R, capital W. Thank you for listening.